right, so here's our last graphing of an inequality. Um, we have x minus 2y is greater than 6. This is not ready to graph yet because we do not have y alone. So let's solve for y starting with the x. We'll subtract it from both sides. Bring down your negative 2y is greater than negative x plus 6. Divide everything by that negative 2. All right, so this happened on the second graphing we did. We divided everything by negative 2, so you have to pay attention to that greater than. That's going to flip your inequality. So instead of greater than, it's going to become less than. And then we have a negative x. That's like a negative 1x over a negative 2. So the negative divided by negative becomes positive. So you have a positive 1 half x. And then 6 divided by negative 2 is a negative 3. All right, now we can graph this and identify our information. Our slope is the 1 half number with the x. The y-intercept is negative 3. A uh, solid or dotted line, it's just a less than. Remember, just a less than without the, the line is a dotted line. And then where do we shade for less thans, above or below? Anything less than will shade below. All right, so starting with the y-intercept at negative 3, your slope is 1 half, so up 1 over 2. Remember, it's a positive slope, so you should have an uphill line. And then we said dotted line. And shading below. So go to your y-intercept right there, shade below, put an arrow below it. That's the side that gets shaded. So all of this, these are all of our solutions to the inequality. So if you are feeling good with your graphing, these are going to be no big deal. I would look out for dividing both sides by a negative, which would flip your inequality, which happened to us right here. Um, and if you're still working on your graphing, we're going to get more practice so we'll get better at it.